Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm doing a very long video for you guys that have been requesting this for so long. There's going to be another part because I just couldn't um, see me continuing on and doing like a three hour video. So this is part one, but I do start for beginners showing on a canvas. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm putting down a dioxazine purple, as you can see, just mushing it around. And once this is dry, I use a stencil on top with some white acrylic paint. I use titanium white and make the background for some texture. And then I go on uh, after I do that. And really, I, I talk most of the video. There's only one little part for like three minutes that music will come on towards the end. And then I come back on and finish, not finish her, but finish this part. Um, I'm really enjoying doing her. I love, I love how she started out as one thing and goes to another. You guys will see that. Um, and yeah, and then I'm gonna, the next video, I'm gonna finish her up and then I'm gonna do some background work, some more mixed media background work with different things. So I hope you'll join me and please share me around. I appreciate it so very much. Um, and leave me a thumbs up so I know that you guys like these kind of videos. I know there's a bunch of you that do miss the long videos to sit and listen to while you guys eat or in Angie's case in the bathtub, uh, which I'm very flattered. Who would want to hear my voice in the bathtub? But Angie does. So um, I really, I really do love when you guys, you know, leave me comments and stuff about watching my uh, longer videos. So here you go. I probably will put this all together and do a speed through if you are not interested in a long video like this. So yeah, so enjoy. Let me know any questions down below. I'll answer them in the next video. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. Stay safe. And I will see you guys soon. Okay, so you saw the background. All I did was paint with, I'm going to tell you colors, let's see, I painted with uh, dioxazine, yeah, dioxazine purple, and then let that dry, and then I took a stencil, <clears throat> put it over top, and did white. Uh, you know, very simple background. You can use anything. You can use your onion bag. You can do whatever you want. So that's what I did, and now she dried. So I'm going to do a face. Now, sometimes I will just paint right on the canvas. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. This time, because a lot of you write about um, drawing faces and that kind of stuff, and there's a million different. I have a ton. There's a million out there that you can, you know, to draw faces. But I'm going to do one. I'm going to draw one, and, you know, we're going to go from there. And all I have is a piece of printer paper. Now, what I like to do is I want to decide where I want my face. So I'm either going to do my face. Uh, I like to do it on the side. So then I can use, you know, if I want to do other things. Usually it's this side. I don't know why. You can do it in the middle if you want. It's up to you. But I think I'm going to go over here. And the reason I want to know where I'm going is because when I draw it out, um, I know the neck and the hair, depending on if I want the hair, a lot of the hair to show or whatever is going on. So what I'm going to do is kind of, I always go backwards. And I'm just going to just give her base a little bit here. So I kind of know, you know, where she's at. Because once I cut it out, I can move her over this way. I can do whatever. This shoulder is a little bit bigger than I'm giving her my football shoulders. <laughs> but again, this is just, you know, just an idea where I'm going to put her. And then for my face, I'm going to do the oval. It's like the upside down egg. Like that. And then all this can be real quick. I love these white erasers. You get these at the dollar store, a pack of like seven or eight or I don't even know, ten, five. I don't know how many you get, but you get a lot. 
and um, or Staples, wherever you frequent, Walmart, I'm sure, all of them. But I like the white ones. I made the mistake and bought red ones before because I just like the color. It reminded me of being little, like the red brick red ones. And um, they don't work well. <laughs> they just don't work. Maybe for colored pencils or something. So once I have my face here, then I'll kind of adjust, you know, how I want my neck. Um, again, I'll go erase all this before I put it on. Now I'm going to go in. Now y'all know if you've been with me that I have problems with um, lines, <laughs> straight lines, because she a mess. So I like to take a just a ruler. This is from Staples. I got it for, it's non-chatter, so I don't know what that means. But if I want to... Um, I, I don't know. I just like having it. I also use my T-square because sometimes I can't get a straight line because just I'm weird that way. So I'm just going to go down. I'm not going to beat myself up. You can see she's kind of off. So all I'll do is move over a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to, I have a thing of, I have new, what are they called? I don't know where the heck they are. I'm going to do a little, if you guys paint something and draw a face on it, I'm going to put you in and pick one of you guys. I'm going to send just a little package. Mail is so expensive to do big giveaways like I used to, but I'll send a couple of erasers. Maybe I'll send a thing of I have a uh, Prismacolor uh, colored pencils, you know, I'll put together like a small package of like bits and bobs for you and send it to you if you're interested. So if you do show me, you know, tag me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, you can email me, you can send it to me as messenger on Instagram or Facebook. A lot of you don't like to, um, you know, let other people see, and I get it. That's totally your prerogative. You can do what you want to do. It's your prerogative. I can live my life. I, I can't because then they'll copyright me. And I don't want that. So I'm going to go about, about halfway. Not going to fuss, fuss too much. And I'm going to go light line this way. And that'll be my eye line. Again, if you are just starting doing faces, you know, don't worry about too much of knowing, you know what I mean, of where everything's going to be. I like to go an inch or two. It depends on, you know, if I measure this, how how far will that be? Oh, wrong side, Cal. would <laughs> help if I use the right side. So this is about an inch, so I would go an inch and a half probably for the nose or in between. It depends on, you know, what I'm feeling that day. So how about let's just go in between those two inch and a half inch. It depends on what you want. Sometimes I erase. So, and then I'll go maybe an inch or so for the lip. And then like the bottom lip would be here, the chin. So you see what I'm saying? So you can kind of see what we're working with here. Now I'm going to turn her this way because my brain, you know, I'm, I'm a mess. So what I am going to do is Take my ruler while I have it out, and I'm I just want to mark, like they say, doesn't work well for me. But they say, like if you're gonna do, let's say an inch, you know, you do like your three eyes, an inch, an inch, and an inch. Um, so that's what we'll do on here. However, I I play with it and I'll change it probably. But there's an inch. And then here's another inch. See how come that's a bigger inch? That's what I want to know. So that's an inch. That's an inch. That's an inch. There we go. That's one. Because I'm looking at it wrong. Okay. So you see what I mean? So uh, I have my two inch right here in the middle of the line. So then I just took, which is stupid because I should have. Anyway. So I took one and a half inch and made it go to two and a half inch. Took two and a half to three and a half. And then right here half an inch to one and a half inch, but there's much easier way to do that. You can just put it on, um, like 
like that and then just do like put it on two and a half at your line and then just take your one to your two two to your three three to your four it, it doesn't matter you you can do you i my brain does not work correctly so i do things quite backwards and then i'll just do like a little mush a mush little circle little oval sometimes i'll do just the almond shape which is what i'll end up doing and then that becomes, and then I just take this off because I'm going to be honest with you, it, it freaks me out sometimes. I get all discombobulated and it doesn't take much, you know. And then I'm going to erase. There's all kinds of different ways to do this. Y'all do find what works for you. And you can see I kind of already... Give it like a little duck bill. That's like, you, you know, your middle of your eye. Or corner of your eye. Middle, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. And then I'll just make this a little bit more. So I like to use the guideline, like the middle, like the line that I drew kind of as a guideline. You don't have to, but um, depends on what you want. And you can see we have fairly, I mean, my eyes aren't always... Uh, you know, perfect. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to go here and you can see the middle lines right here. Right. And then this line is right here. And that's, what's going to be where I put my little nose like that. So just like a spread out you. And then I like to Just do like my nostrils. So I'll do like a little oval right there, sweep in, sweep over, and another oval. And then I will erase this line so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'll do my little, you know, nose. And you can see now, of course, you know, I'm going to trace over this with a uh, permanent marker and then erase all my lines. So it's kind of thick right now. So I won't color those in. So it looks a little bit. And then the lips. So this will be like where your middle of your lip is. Um, you could do this a million different ways. You can do like, uh, it doesn't matter. So then my lines here, some, I, most of the time I don't even put that in, but, um, that's that. So our top lip's going to go here and then our middle lips, the middle of our lips going to go here. So sometimes I like to go, I like to do the same U as I did up here. And then like kind of let that line be our guideline in a sense. And that'll be the middle of our lip. And then I'll erase this. Erase this. So now that that's the middle, I'll do the same kind of thing on the top. So I'll do like a. So I'm mimicking that. Do you see what I'm saying? And then I can just erase that a little bit. And of course you can play with, okay. So, I mean, that's a face, she a face, she a face. Now you can go and erase. I love this eraser. Oh my God. There um, was a beautiful soul, Linda. And she was so good to me. She was like a mother to me and she would constantly surprise me with um, little things from the 
from the art store and all. Her name was Linda Shilcott. And she died unexpectedly. But she, God, for years, that woman was so good to me. And I miss talking to her. And I have other angels in my life that send me things and that are very kind to me. And I'm very thankful for. Um, Mickey being one of them. And... You know, every time I get a little surprise, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm just not, I, I don't feel like I'm worthy, you know? Um, but anyway, I just want, you know, everybody, I don't always acknowledge it on camera because a lot of people don't like it to be acknowledged. Um, but to all my angels out there, I, you know, very, all my art angels, I'm very, very thankful. And that includes people just sending me cards. Shayla sends me little letters and cards and Angie and it just, you know, uh, Amy sent me a, a, a thing. Uh, gosh, I had, I had it on the wall. I'll have to take it down and show, uh, Amy's crafting, um, of something that I loved of hers on Facebook and she surprised and sent it to me. Oh, I could go on Beverly. There are just so many wonderful people. Anyway, this just got me nostalgic today because I miss her. I was thinking about her the other day. Anyway, I, enough of that or I'll start crying and that's a whole other thing. So you can see here the chin. Now, you know, a lot of us have like a little fold in their chin. A lot don't. So if you're like, oh no, I think this is too much space here. If you want to adjust it, you can move the lips down a little bit. Um, you know, sometimes instead of moving the lips, because I like that distance i'll just kind of come here and just bring this up the slightest bit okay and then erase this and see how i like it i like it a little bit longer and you could have left it what what that was it doesn't you know it doesn't matter it's all in what you like really So that's a little bit better. And then I can see over here, this is a little too, too wide. So then I'll just go in and just start editing a little bit, right? So then what I'll do is decide, well, I think this needs to go up a little higher. So I will just, sometimes I'll have to mark it because you know, just do you see it like the eyes a little bit wider and maybe this one just the slightest. Just want to make sure before I marker it or paint, whatever way you want to do it. This one seems a little too. Now she need a little bit. See, that's why you don't mess around. That's why <laughs> it's going to be a long video, but whatever. I'll just show you. You don't have to watch it if you don't want. I just like to sit and babble and talk and old school videos. YouTube uh, doesn't like the old school videos as much. They like it right to the point. And back in the day, we used to do, I mean, my gosh, I've been doing this since 2005, I think, six. I don't even remember how long it's been since, uh, 10, I don't know. But um, we used to just sit for an hour on here and just talk and paint and do our thing and keep people company. Now it's like, you got to like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, so I got my eyes. I mean, really, we're not we're not fussing too much. So I'm gonna go in now. You can use your um, circle template, and Lord have mercy on me. I don't know where mine is, so we ain't gonna use it. Anyway, you guys have seen it a million times. My circle template, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of go in here and do a circle like that and try to hit the middle as best you can and that will also help you um 
All right, not too bad, Kel. Okay, not too bad. This just needs a little bit more of a little eye. And then what I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to add like our lid. So you can see, I don't have much of a lid. I put it eye, so don't worry about it if you don't get much of it. And you see how she's kind of coming to life? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick a uh, permanent black marker and I'm going to trace everything. So I will be back when I'm done tracing and then we will move on to the next product. Okay, so I took my marker and what marker is it? Fabric Castell uh, pit pens. I love these. You could buy these separate or in a pack. Use a coupon and you get um, a discount. You can get them at the craft stores. Uh, and if this is an extra small, that's just because I grabbed it, but you can use whatever you want. And there we are. Okay. Perfect. No, but whatever. So now I got to decide. Do I want to cut her out now, glue her down, and then paint her? Do I want to, and then add hair, or do I want to add hair and then cut her out? Well, here's the thing. Some of the ways I do it is, I, well, that's my dog crying. I would cut this out, glue this down, and then I would add hair. Sometimes, now this is printer paper, so it's fairly thin, um, but if you use mixed media or watercolor, what could happen is you get like a little divot of where your uh, hair is. Um, so then I would take modeling paste, texture paste, whatever you call it, molding paste, um, and I would use that to give the hair texture, okay? Um, which I could do that. Or I could paint her all on here, give her hair and paint her, then cut her out and then glue her on, um, and then kind of futz a little bit to, you know, add this, that, the other, and then finish on my background. So what are we going to do today? Well, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to paint the face and I'm just going to use my normal light flush. Now, of course you can make your own colors, uh, your own flush color. Uh, the base is, oh geez, Cal, uh, red, ultramarine blue. I want to say yellow and some white, but don't quote me on that because <laughs> I don't, I'd have to sit and, and work that out. Uh, quinacridone magenta, I think is one of, is that one of my favorites? Naphthol crimson, um, alizarin crimson. There's so many different colors out there that you can really play with and, you know, use to make your skin a tune. So I'm just going to take a paintbrush. And I'm going to go in now you can Mod Podge this first to help with, um, the lines and all I'm not. Now if I go outside the lines a little bit, I'm not going to worry about it too much because she'll have some hair, hopefully. Now I like to use some floating medium and I learned I mean, I've been using floating medium for one stroke and all that for a while, but I like adding a little bit because it will help spread it out. I mean, you can use water. You just got to watch because it does thin it out. And it goes around the eyes. That's another thing. If you've been with me for a while, you guys know I paint from the lid. <laughs> Very rarely do I spill out paint. I usually give it a good shake and then paint from the lid. Um, I don't know. That's something I was taught a long time ago when, like, you know, you just don't waste. That's why I scrape back in. I do all the things. So you want to use a permanent marker. Like I said, you can use a... Um, just dip my brush in. You can use a Sharpie. It would work fantastically. And they have thin Sharpies. They have all the Sharpies that you can want in life. So then I can paint over it and then I can still see where I want to be. Because <laughs> she's a rapper. Oh 
of the two as well. And then I'll go up here a little bit more. Forehand. Now she'll have hair, of course, but you want to make sure that you don't have to go back and you want to kind of finish your edge. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that you're covered so you're not necessarily going, you know, back. And then I'll just go in here for the neck. What I'll do is leave this to be my base color. Let's go one bit more up there. Okay. I just, you guys have really uh, welcomed the fact that I have Dave on here doing my husband doing videos and I'm so happy. And when you guys leave him comments, I love when you leave me comments, but when you guys leave him comments, it just means the world to me because he really, he really loves it. And he's got more stuff coming up. I know I'm really up only uploading his older stuff, but I'm going to take a little bit of white and just very lightly. Kind of blend it in just to lighten it a little bit. And you can barely see it when it's dry, you'll see it a little bit better. Let's see. A little bit on the chin. That's it. Now you're really going to want this to dry. What did I do with my water? Did I not bring it back in? I must not have brought my water back in. I got fresh water and I left it in there. Um, you're going to want to let this dry because <clears throat> you can see it's a little bit um, wrinkly, which at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. I just kind of do like this, but I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. I'm going to go grab my water. And then um, when we come back, we will Um, we'll continue on. I gotta figure out what color hair I want to use.
Hey guys, so I want to show you something. Um, something you got to be careful of because I like to show you mistakes as well as you know things that happened or whatever. Um, now I did her hair like this, and I'm not sure I like it, but that's not what I'm going to show you. I right here see a bubble, and because we're using very thin paper, you have to be so careful because you'll get a bubble, um, which I did. I tried and I did. So what I did was I took my X-Acto knife or whatever knife you have and I sliced it because the big bubbles right here, I sliced it right at that hairline. So now what I will do is take a little bit of, and you can use a glue stick too, but mine's over there and it's not opened and I have to open them. But I'm going to take a little bit of glue on my paintbrush, okay? And I'm going to carefully lift that up just the slightest bit. And I'm going to push this in where I cut. Okay. Might get a little bit more. And just mush it around in there. And then I will go and close it like this. Okay. 
sometimes you have more than one. Now you can see here, I uh, got a, like a, it kind of folded up a little bit, but I'm gonna change the hair because I'm not so much digging it or at least add to it. So I'll show you, this happens all the time. I do paintings and they never end up how I originally said, but, or originally had planned in my head. You can see I'm like brushing it out, pushing a little bit and uh, that will help that. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little, um, you know, what to do because things happen all the time. So you can see now I'm just letting it dry. Now that I used the Mod Podge, Mod Podge mat and I love Mod Podge mat. So I use it all the time. What I should have used I'm gonna, is the Mod Podge spray, which is Mod Podge Ultra, which is over there. Again, laziness on my part, um, but then I gotta do this shit, so yeah, who knows. So now I'll just leave this dry, and um, then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do with the hair. I'm gonna put my knife away because that's my big bad boy knife. I got it free. <laughs> okay, irrelevant. So, now what? Do I want to add some modeling paste, molding paste, texture paste, whatever you call it? Do I want to just go for it? What do I want to do? Um, and I'm not real sure. I'm not really digging this. And in my head, it was different. Now it's not. So maybe if I take Let's see. I don't know. I can leave this as one layer, right? I know it's a little bit shiny and I'm sorry. But if this is a layer going towards her face, because what I'm going to do is lay a light yellow on top. So then that dark, you know, it just adds different dimensions. So that I'm not worried about, but maybe I should continue this with some yellow and just start doing it. Have it go up. This is a Stabilo by the way. I was looking for my other ones that Sherry uh, bought me. I think I have them in the container over there. Cause this is too like, I don't know. I just, I'm not feeling it today. It's not that I don't like it. I just, I'm not feeling it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take some gesso. I'm gonna apologize in advance if you hear my dogs because I just, I had to do a, um, a voiceover on the last section because it's just my life right now. They're just wild, wild. So I'm going to kind of like have it go like this. Kind of looks like a veil. Maybe I love to go veil. It's very light. See, this is when you do things and you're like, ew. Hmm. She's a part. See if I can get you up. Come here, sis. Does that help a little bit? But I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. Hmm. Poof, I don't know what to do. hate when I can't figure it out. I wish I had you guys sitting here with me. All right, so regardless, I have to do hair. Maybe. I'll take it all the way to the neck. Have it go over. I mean, why would I do a veil? Like, like unless I was doing like Mary, but she's not Mary. She's not Mary Magdalene, do you know what I'm saying? Let me 
in between her hair. I'm just going to go up there. I love this. I really do. I just don't know as far as merit, like, you know, like a veil. Why would she have a veil? I can't think of anything in my mind that would make her have a veil. I'll feel better once I have her some hair on because <laughs> it's making me like really like question everything right now. Do you know what I mean? Just want to see what I'm saying on this. Make this a little more fluid. That's better. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so she has hair and then her hair is kind of I'll be gonna go like this. A little bit. And then behind her neck, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to myself as if you know, I'm like, okay, whoever's with me all this time, you're insane. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to like kind of pull that up just the littlest bit. That's going to be her hair. What I really love that is the... But there's no reason to have... What do I put? Married to myself? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go nuts. I love it. I love the idea, but we ain't doing it today, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, move on, Cal. Move on. So I'm gonna go in with. I think I'm gonna go back in with my asphaltum. That's burnt sienna, but we'll use burnt sienna. <laughs> There's my asphaltum right there, and I'm just gonna put a little bit, and I'm going to just kind of work it in to give it a little bit of a. That's like a burnt brown, but obviously burnt sienna, right? Burnt, get it? <laughs> you didn't kick him. We get it. It's not funny. You're weird. You're weird. All right. I need to take a bath or something. I need something to relax, I swear. All right. So never be afraid when you're doing stuff to change it like do you know what I mean like it's always going to change because as you do it, it like they say it talks to you in a sense like it's like you know what no like I said I was all like I'm going to try this haircut on this doll on this uh, girl and then I'm like I don't like it so I'm laying a dark like a brown down not a dark brown but I mean if all you have is dark brown then lay it down lay it down lay it down She needs to be darker here. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? I want to run like right here amongst the uh, where it's going to be. It's going to be almost like a shadow layer. Do you know what I mean? Now, okay, might have to do it darker. We're gonna we're gonna work with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hate having you guys sit here while I dry, so I keep stopping it, but. I'm going to go with that for a minute. And you know what else I'm digging? And I got to change it. But I'm digging this. Her shirt where it's like I had the white and then I had the black um, Stabilo. 
and it kind of like ran and I'm digging this look, but am I going to keep it? I don't know. I don't know. I am, however, going to clean my brush. If you are still with me, if you are still with me, I want you to make a sentence with the word key. Now, you know, the background is a bit, I don't want to say busy, but it's busy. And it's, it's but I'm going to do things like to kind of push it in the back a little bit, leave certain parts, certain things. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll finish this on the video or not, but I'll think. I'm going to take some of this medium yellow. Slow this down. It's like it's almost like we're doing low lights in, the, in a way. Do you know what I mean? Thing. I can, what else am I going to do? Put it up. Oh, the frustration is real. Mm -hmm. I might put a little brush, a little water on there just to make it thinner. I like by the face to be lighter in a way. I'm just going all the way in. I'm just going all the way in. I'll add the things later after it dries or blend it in. I want the yellow against the purple. Will we have all this purple at the end? I don't know. Where's my dog? I don't have a sound asleep. Both of them. All of them, really. Spyro, the Yoshi, Luna, and Luke. And Emily's dog, Dolly. Well, Luna's her dog, too, but she's on Emily's bed now. Okay. Now. Because we're painting and all that kind of stuff, and we'll add another layer, and I'll add the dark through it to it, you know, you're not going to really see where the hair was. Um, I have a right to change my mind if I want to, and so I did. Um, but what am I going to put in it to add some? I don't know. But I need to let that dry so I can do another coat of the yellow. going to be a three hour video. It's like I'm live, but nobody's here with me. Should have went live. I didn't even think about it. Now, if you want to put texture, uh, texture, uh, 
paint in here, texture medium in here, modeling paste, molding paste, la 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 la. You certainly can. And who knows? Well, maybe I will. Maybe I will just to show you. Just for anybody who's beginning. So that's kind of why I'm doing this. Do I have modeling paste? What did I do with this? I didn't get too fast. Oh, no. Oh. I'm going to set her down by here. Because it'll go everywhere. Modeling paste, Liquitex. Now, texture paste is made by Plaid. Uh, I don't know other names, I guess. I don't, I don't know. That's just where I'm at. Okay, but this is what I have sitting here because I'm trying to use it before it goes bad. Now, I'm going to use a brush, and this is just a cheap you know, cheaper brush, not an expensive one that I like to use for these things. And it looks, it's spackle is what it is. Y you all know what spackle is, yeah? And so I'm going to just kind of put it on here like so. I don't know if I should split this video up in two. Now we can make our own texture paste, right? Um, I have many videos, it's on my website. However, I'm just gonna tell you very quickly. You can take white school glue or Mod Podge, whatever you have, because I know you know a lot of us are strapped now with everything going on and stores don't have stuff and all the things. So you could take Mod Podge, white glue, whatever, and you can get a little bit of sand. You can get a little bit of baking soda. You can get a little bit of baby powder and <clears throat> excuse me and mix it in. And if you want it white or color, you can add a little bit of acrylic paints in and mix it all together and use it. Uh, I, I've used toilet paper. I've done videos on that. I've used paper towel. I've used, um, baking soda, plaster repair. I mean, you can use a million different things. So if you want a video on that specifically, let me know where I can show different ways to do it. But yeah, if you don't have this, there's ways that since you're home that you can do it. Yeah, I'm liking her face now a little bit better because I was kind of like, I don't know, you know what I mean? But I can see a little bit better of what I wanted. I don't know if I said this earlier or not, but that somebody left me a comment that on my one of my Wiccan posts about I'm the devil, I worship the devil or something. I mean, if they really like me, maybe they're trying to save my soul, but I was just like, mm, not really. A lot of people read horoscopes and, you know, that's all what that is. Okay. So, you see. Now you won't be able to see where the where the um where it ends right there's no lines where the paper was and what i did so you see so now after, since i have this on here i won't put the lid on because i'm always forgetting that and i'm going to take my brush and you can use this end or whatever and there's a little ploopy right there that we want to break up but just take it and kind of push it so you're getting See how it's making kind of almost hair uh, texture, right? I'll hold it up for you so you can see. But doing the same thing, having it go there, you want to have it the way the hair goes. Okay. See how we got that? Okay. So then you leave that dry. Now. I will be back. 
you know what? I think I'll end it here because this is a very long video. I'm just going to do another video because this has to dry. I can't do anything anyway. But what I'll do when I start my next video, you know, what I'll do is um, what will be done is I will touch up the face a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of white. Let me see if I have any markers here. That... I don't want to touch the hair. But I want to have a little bit of like lines, you know, like where our And you can use white paint. Sometimes these pens are like white. I love them, but okay. Just so we have a little bit of, you know, and I'm gonna we'll do more with that once we get there. But that's where we're going to leave off, and I appreciate you taking the time and watching this with me uh, while I do it, uh, and me just rambling about God only knows. So once this is dry, and I'm going to touch everything up and um, get ready for the next the next part, I'll be more prepared. Uh, so this might be, this will be up today, tomorrow, the next day will be maybe the next one. So, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Any questions, ask below. Email me. You know, all the things where to get me. Um, and I'll try to answer them in the next video. And, yeah, thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend with me. This was a real long one. And, like I said, I don't expect to get many views on it. But, you know, it was a start to finish kind of thing. So, I love you guys. And I will see you in part. Duh. Bye, guys.